wannabe. You're a wannabe? Uh, and we're searching for smallmouth bass on Oneida. Lake Oneida or is this a river? This is Lake Oneida, but your lens is dirty. Today is June 27th. It's finally stopped raining. Unfortunately, I'm fishing with this guy. Maybe we're gonna catch some smallmouth today. Maybe some walleye. He's a liar, we already caught some. <laughs> He's did. a liar, we already caught some. <laughs> we did catch a few, uh, did we, you caught one. No, I don't think I landed. I caught one. He broke them off, lost them. Whatever. First one he hooks, there's people around and he's like, oh, hey, everybody look, we got smallmouth and we're out here trying to practice for a dang derby. And he's just showing the whole world where we're fishing, where we're catching them. So if you guys want to know the exact spots, I'll drop the GPS coordinates in the description below so you can come find him out here and practice with him. Yeah, I'll give them to you guys actually if you just subscribe to my YouTube channel and not his. So the gist of today is we're practicing, yeah. Anything else you want to add before I turn this thing off? Uh, stay tuned for Freakzilla smallmouth beatdowns. God, you're good at this. Do you do this for a living? No. Little update. Brandon's uh, giving me uh, the 101 on electronics. He says we're seeing a bunch of fish. We drop down on them and then they decide to disappear. Well, what do you, what's, are they actually bass? We're not 100% sure. We're not 100% sure. Alex has hooked up with a big one. Boat in the distance. We're gonna try to make this not super obvious. That's more the kind we're that's, looking for. That's the right kind right there. Just a little drop shot. Boom. Yeah, that one, that one freaking, I didn't know what I had, but he smoked it. What are we fishing? How deep are we? That's the second bite we've had. It's in about 19, 20 foot. Uh, idled over it. It's kind of just a hard bottom. There's not even really that much rock. Uh, but I could see a couple sitting just sucked right to the bottom. They got their bellies right on the bottom. That's the kind we're looking for. This vlog is just very exciting. <laughs> Why did you not sound like you meant that? I'm just kidding. I'm actually having a ball out here. We are... Uh, the rain stopped, which is a good thing, so we could actually record. And I caught a pretty decent smallmouth. Um, Brandon's gonna have to pick it up today if he's gonna wanna show me what's up. Or am I gonna have to find all your fish for you? I really think that uh, our struggle is because I've got the hamster in the boat. Pure hamster curse right now going on. I, I never can wear a hat. My nose is so big that it just like, doesn't look good. Just like gives me some weird looking like elf kind of deal, so I just never wear a hat. Don't That's mine. Your free, free son. That's mine. So, if you want to catch big bass, big smallmouth, you have to have a well balanced uh, lunch, right? True. Or a jackalope. If you want to catch jackalope or large bass. Large bass. So, I'm going to teach you guys how to build the proper lunchable sandwich. So, first, you're going to take this cookie or, or cracker, cracker. Excuse me. You're gonna place it right on the box. The box is probably very clean and doesn't have any grime on it, so you'll be set. Then you'll take the turkey, put that on there. Then you'll take the cheese, you'll put that on there. You'll put it in your mouth. That's what this is for. This is wash it down. You definitely need the Capri Sun. Very dry. So then you put the this in here. Wash that all down. 
And that's how you have a well-balanced breakfast or lunch, lunch on the water uh, today. Are we gonna go catch some swamp off now? <laughs> yeah. All right. I don't know. <laughs> it was recording when he set the hook, so there was something recording. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about, but Alex just asked me what this was, and my guess is it's from those fish sitting right on the bottom. But right? if you think about where that fish's mouth would be and where that part of their body would be, it'd be sitting right on the rocks on the bottom when they're eating on the bottom. And on one of the spots, we caught a few fish where Alex actually caught his bigger one. Uh, I could see the fish sitting right on the bottom, you know, where they're where their stomach was actually touching the bottom. And I'm guessing that's what that's from. Yeah. How's that? Oh, baby. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, you gotta. And you do this like in practice and you wonder how you lose them in the tournament. Oh, I know. Oh, that's a state record right there. <laughs> Look, he even tried to eat my little full contact drop shot weight. Look at that. He's that hungry. He said, I like AP bassing so much, I'm going to lasso myself so I can't ever come off. <laughs> Except you didn't even catch him. All right, we're hooked up. SD error. Oh, my Thick, just like your, just like your my nose? favorite girlfriend. Oh, my favorite girlfriend. You got yours yet? No, you got yours. You ready for the reveal? I've got mine. I got mine. She's lipped. All right. All right. Oh, oh, you got me. No, I think you got me. They're twins. Clones. Doubled up on Oneida Lake smallmouth clones. Boom. Those are two. But I think he's got me by a little bit. That was fun. Let's that do it again. Fun. I was like, oh, I got one. And you were like, oh, I got one. So this is the first spot we found since, uh, since actually the first spot we idled up and saw some smallmouth on that we've actually caught multiple fish. We doubled up here uh, when we first pulled up and then I uh, just hooked up on this good one. I don't know how big it is, but it's another three plus pounder. So we'll probably hook, hook up, catch this one, and then uh, get out of here before we get caught by somebody. Right close to three pounder. Little smallmouth belly tickle trick right there. They love it. They just pause when you grab their belly like that. That one's kind of skinny. The last two we caught were fat and healthy, so it's probably a mixture of fish that are just getting done spawning and fish that are, uh, you know, been out here for a little while. Still good, healthy, solid fish. I'm gonna give you guys an example of an Oneida smallmouth though. See how big their eyeballs are? These are a different breed of smallmouth than what you see like in the Great Lakes that feed on the gobies all the time. These smallmouth are built to feed on roaming bait fish and their eyeballs are actually bigger in ratio to their body size than say like the, the fish on Erie and Lake Ontario and stuff. That was a super uh, exciting tip there. <laughs> it's true. A uh, little update here. We have finished fishing for offshore smallmouth. Caught a couple out there. Is that what you were looking for out there? Negative ghost rider. We need bigger ones. You know, it's still fun. Fish for some largemouth now. We're gonna go up a creek. And explore. What are we gonna explore? Are we gonna try and catch some walleyes? We're gonna explore the unknown. Aw, uh, sir. Shouldn't you be uh, watching where you're going? So, uh, how was the move to the uh, largemouth hole? 